My name is Jose. I'm a management consultant. Uh, I used to use GoToMeeting and I switched to Google Meet. For more reviews like this, click below. The issue that I run into a lot is uh, being able to work with different people in different states, right? So as a management consultant, not all of my clients can be readily available in the same state, same town. Um, and so for the longest time, we would use products like GoToMeeting or Google, or Google Meet um, for cross collaboration. And so that was why I needed something like these products. Google Meet is best for, in my opinion anyways, quickly launching and getting started um, with screen sharing or a meeting. Um, like, especially since it's integrated into Gmail. Like, I'm in my email all the time. And so the ability to, to be working on something and get started immediately for me was uh, was was key. GoToMeeting, in my opinion, is best for, I, I, I think I would have to say when you kind of already have something structured and set in place, right? So if I already have a meeting set up with somebody on my calendar later on in the future or something like that, I can send links, set everything up ahead of time. Um, and to be honest, it was kind of like a, a legacy thing. I've been using the product for so long that I've always used it that way. Um, so I would have to say the best part of it is, is, uh, having all of those tools and it ha because it's a legacy product, a lot of people are already familiar with it, which makes it a little bit easier to get across sometimes. Getting started with Google Meet was ridiculously easy. Um, I first started using it, like I said before, because I noticed it in my Gmail and it was a matter of just kind of clicking on it, adding my con, you know, the contact that I wanted to and starting a, starting a meeting. Um, it was really just that simple. Go to meeting on the other hand, I think has a few more steps, right? You have to, I had to first go to the website, set up uh you know log in set up my meeting then send out the invites um and so getting started with it just had a couple of more steps and when you're trying to do things quickly that's something to pay attention to so some of the considerations i would say for uh choosing software like this is going to be uh ease of use uh <clears throat> cost you know, um, I think those are probably the two biggest ones for me anyways, you know, those are the two biggest things that I considered. How much is it going to cost me and how easy is it to use? Cause if I can use it, then there's a good chance that some of my clients can use it as well. Um, and so as a consultant, I'm always trying to look out for my customers and if I can save them a buck or two or help them get through something on a small scale, so be it. If we have to switch to something uh, more robust in the future, we tackle it then. So for me, considerations are always going to be how quickly we can get something done uh, and at what cost.